We're looking together at the story of the Battle of Midian and today the role of the one God chooses, Gideon on this occasion. I, I love Bible stories. So often the leading characters are simply unimpressive. And, and it's such an encouragement to every one of us that we don't have to come to God very impressive. We don't have to come to him, you know, like shining knights in armor that God's, wow, this one is impressive. God, God comes to Gideon and begins to introduce the idea to him that he's going to be the one who will lead this battle. And Gideon's answer is that, hey, my father's house is nothing. And I'm least in my father's house. It's like, if you, if you want someone to play this part, you need someone far more impressive than I. And yet this is the great thing about the Bible. God is not looking for the impressive. He, he looks for those who will trust him and put their confidence in them. And the Bible says quite plainly in, in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, a really classic passage I love looking at, which says, God has not chosen many mighty. He's not chosen many wise. He's not chosen many noble. We don't have to have impressive skills ourselves. We don't have to be noble in God's eyes. Here, Gideon was an unimpressive guy. He said, my family is nothing and I'm the least in my family. We have nothing to impress. And, and God says, no, 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 I've chosen you. And do you know that's all it needs? God's hand upon your life. He says quite plainly in John 15, you've not chosen me, I have chosen you. And it's hard to know how much is invested in that tremendous statement, I have chosen you. It's a wonderful truth to let your heart celebrate. And it says quite plainly, he's chosen the foolish to shame the wise. He's chosen the weak to shame the strong. And it says quite plainly, he's chosen the base and the despised. God, the list of qualifications is extraordinary. Many of us feel I've so little to offer God. Many of us feel a bit foolish compared with the smart guy at the office or you know, the one who makes you feel rather ashamed of your lack of knowledge, God chooses those aware of their weakness. And some who come to him strong, actually like Moses. Moses, we're told at the beginning, was mighty in word and in deed. In other words, he knew what to say, knew what to do. He was an action man. And God said, no, thank you. In fact, Moses had to wait 40 years in a desert and God said, right now I've called you. And Moses said, I can't speak. Please send somebody else. Jeremiah said, send somebody else. I'm too young. You'll find that often in the Bible. God kind of takes special interest in those who are not very impressed with themselves and feel they've got little to offer. And when they feel they've got a lot to offer, like maybe Moses, God just humbles them until they really do cling to God and draw on God's strength. Hey, maybe you've felt, I've got very little to offer. God has chosen the weak things of this world and the foolish things because it's his strength and his ability that's gonna win the day. Be of good courage. God chooses us.